Hey you guys, it's Molly. Just a little sneak peek at what I'm gonna do today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see you in a sec. Hey you guys, it's Molly. So today I'm gonna be trying out, so oops. So I got this um, from Amazon and it's in my store and I found this extender and I was trying to read on it. It doesn't have very good directions but it seemed like it was kind of like Floetrol. So I used this with just a splash of this and water for my base. And then in the colors, I just use a splash of this again and water. So um, let me see if I can focus it. There you go. Nope. <laughs> there you go. So that's what it is, an extender. It doesn't really have directions of how to mix it or anything like that, but it just says that it extends the paint. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Also, I wanted to say congratulations to Lauren Ann Tapp. She was the winner of the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So Lauren, please contact me um, via email or Facebook. Use my links in the description to get a hold of me and so I can get your address to send that stuff out to you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of white on the canvas and I'll go ahead and get started. So I layered my white on the canvas. Um, the extender seems like it made the paint uh, much fluffier. Um, so it's actually quite thick even though it's very thin with water so I don't know how this is gonna come out we'll see it does say that it makes the paints matte if you use too much so so here in the US it is Memorial Day so um, thank you for everyone that has served us um, for our country and so I'm using variations of red white and blue so I'm using Windsor blue I'm using crimson and then I'm using primary red. Maybe one more little drop of blue and one more of the bright red. A little bit of white. Thank you to everybody that supported my channel this month as well. Um, it helps me to buy canvases and paint and experiment, so I really appreciate that. You guys are what keep me going. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the white around. I started a little bit lower. Okay, now let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Wow, can you guys see that? I wonder if it's the Windsor and Newton paint that, that really creates those amazing cells. Oh, I wish I hadn't blown it off the side. Let me show you guys. Wow, it sold up beautifully. All right. I might try to change my camera angle a little to get you guys out of the way of this. So give me a second. Wow, you guys, those cells are just growing and growing. Uh, I, I lost a lot of my white in there and I kind of wish I hadn't, but all right, let me blow this out and I'll show you. Ooh, not on high. I think I'm going to stop there and just blow the rest of this out. Wow. This is insane. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me take you guys down. Wow. I'm definitely, I, so now I don't know. See, you're not supposed to change two things at one time. I added the extender and I used the Windsor and Newton. So I may have to backtrack and take one out to figure out why I got this because I used my same consistency that I always use. So let me 
Gosh, that Winsor & Newton is not cheap either. Please don't tell me I've got to change my paints. <laughs> so that's that corner. Look at how vibrant. And it's stuck to the sides really well. I'll have to clean those up. There's like this small lacing right here. All of that red lacing up there. There's no silicone in this. I like those little cells that popped up up there. Oh my gosh. You guys let me know. Have you ever used the Windsor Galleria? Have you used this paint extender? Are you guys getting the same result? And do you like this painting? <laughs> I love this painting. Wow. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody that's been supporting me. I love all your comments. Don't forget to like, hit the bell if you want to see what else I'm doing and all my experiments. And I appreciate you all so much. All right, you guys. Happy painting. Bye.